Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Indian Armed Forces are moving now at a quicker pace in order to strengthen their aviation wing. Recently, we have seen three new developments in this regard. The first one came in November 2021 when DAC had approved the proposal worth Rs 7,695 crores for the Armed Forces modernization which includes 12 light utility helicopters LUH from HAL. Once the 12 LSP LUH order is complete, HAL will start the series production of the LUH. Next one is related to LCH. On 30th March 2022, the Cabinet Committee on Security chaired by PM Narendra Modi has given approval for the procurement of 15 LCH or Light Combat Helicopter Limited Series Production or LSP at a cost of Rs 3,887 crore along with the infrastructure cost of Rs 377 crore. Third and the most recent one was related to the proposal of 60 NUH or Naval Utility Helicopters for Indian Navy which will be based on LH Dhruv MK3 but will also derive some of its feature from the light utility helicopter LUH. Now as per the latest report from the Tribune, Indian Air Force is looking to procure three squadrons of Rudra. One squadron of Air Force has 16 Rudra, therefore we can expect the proposal for 48 LH Rudra for Indian Air Force. A case for the procurement of Rudra is now being moved to the Ministry of Defence by Air Force. This is going to be the massive order for LH Rudra and will greatly boost the firepower of Indian Air Force. The new procurement plan was the result of impressive performance by LH Rudra at the high altitudes of Himalayas and deserts of western frontier. As reported, the helicopter has performed very well in the high altitude plateau and sensitive Despang plateau in northern Ladakh during the standoff. The helipads in these locations are at an altitude of more than 15,000 feet and air is very thin, which poses greater challenges for aircraft to fly. HL Rood has even outperformed the Chinese gunship WZ 10 fielded against the Rood during the standoff. During the year 2012-2013, the Indian Navy conducted flight trials of Rudra and found the helicopter suitable for coastal surveillance operation. It was impressed with the capability of Rudra's sensor to track ships at 12 and 14 km range. The image quality of the sensors was described as good enough to even read the name of ships at those ranges and the Navy was keen to order at least 20 helicopters. The HL Rudra Mark IV, also known as ALHWSI or Weapon System Integrated, is an ARM version of HL Dhruv which is designed and manufactured by HL. The helicopter can be used in both unarmed and armed roles that includes reconnaissance, troop transport, anti-tank warfare and close air support. At present, Indian Air Force operate one squadron of Rudra with 16 helicopters and Army has 75 Rudra in service and 25 more on order. Now let's look into the details of the capability and the weapons of Rudra. Rudra is equipped with forward-looking infrared FLIR and thermal imaging sights interface. It has French Nexter 20mm turret gun, Belgian 70mm rockets, an MBDS Mistral air-to-air -air missile and indigenous Helena anti-tank guided missile. Mistral is an infrared homing missile which is capable of striking the aerial targets within a range of 6.5 km and Helena can utilize a target from a range of 7 km. In a typical anti-surface configuration, Rudra can carry four Helena anti-tech guided missiles, two on the either side and 24 guided or unguided rockets, again 12 on each side. All the systems have been tested individually multiple times from Rudra. In fact, the recent two trials of Helena missiles were carried out this month was from Rudra. Now, if we talk about the electronic warfare and countermeasures, Rudra has all what is needed for a modern day helicopter. It is protected by an extensive electronic warfare suite which is provided by the South African division of SAP Group. This suite 
comprises various defensive elements to guard against several different types of threats. These include a radar warning receiver, a laser warning receiver, and a missile approach warning system, infrared jammer, chaff, and flare dispensers. The Integrated Defensive AIDS Suit IDAS from SAP AB with electronic warfare self protection is fully integrated into the Dhruv's latest glass cockpit. These systems are soon going to be indigenized as well and we have recently made a detailed video on this. Talking about its performance, Rudra is powered by two HL Turbo Mecha Shakti 1H turbo shaft engine which is a joint venture between French engine manufacturer Safran and HL. Each engine can generate power of up to 1068 kilowatts or 1432 shaft horsepower. The helicopter exceeded the payload and performance requirement at the height of 6 km. It has capacity of 12 passengers plus 2 pilot crews. It has maximum takeoff weight of 5800 kgs range of 590 km and maximum speed of 280 km per hour. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.